I was sitting in my living room in East Islip, and I was listening on the predecessor to this sound system in this room to the Stargate CD. The org is asleep on my lap, and I'm sitting back listening, trying to figure out, okay, what's with this music? The tonalities on it are perfect. And next thing I know, Dog gets excited. I open my eyes. There's these two guys standing in my living room with some sort of a strange suits on them, uniform, whatever. I say, who are you? He says, we represent a group you know as the Wingmakers. So I said, okay. And then they proceed to tell me that the problem I was having with the amplifiers is that I had the phasing wrong in the feedback. Correct the phasing. Then they hand me this briefcase full of papers, CD-ROMs, and said, some of the effect, this is the next step on your planet here of uh, digital sound. So, okay. I take everything over to Computer Associates and I talk to a friend of mine, Bill, at Computer Associates. Hey, what do you think of this? And a couple of days later he called me and said, you know, that's some sort of a sound processor. Of course, they'd already told me that the CD has a lot of distortion in the high end because there's only one sample at 20 kilohertz and the phase gets distorted as you go from 10k to 20k. And that this program, you put it in a DSP setup, it will correct that distortion. What it will do is identify all the fundamentals and then group the harmonics and then apply sacred mathematics to align the phase of the harmonics to the fundamentals. And it does just that. It takes a CD digital recording and makes it sound like the master tape, you know, from analog. You know, the processing they gave me is uh, fantastic. And after we put it together and got it working, I was actually able to sell the system to AMD, you know, America Micro Devices, which is Computer Associates' parent company. 2000 or 2001 Christmas time, I don't remember which. AMD was going to put out a chipset to replace all the existing chipsets and these digital players. Next thing I know, we get a letter on the patent that the patent's been seized by the military. Something to do with their sound weapon. We had done in 200 kilobytes of code what it took them terabytes to do. So all of a sudden, we now can't sell the thing. It was already on AMD's website, the next step in digital audio. Of course, now it's probably passe. And I sat with my finger, you know where. But still, and I then started to work with these guys from 2755, they told me. And their claim is they made that recording, sent it through the Stargate as through space and time to the present time, and the intent was to elevate genetically mankind to where we become altruistic and all this war garbage stops and the greed stops and we become a society like Gene Roddenberry wanted to have.